north node in the second house south node in the eighth house in this video i'm going to be discussing north node in the second house south node in the eighth house everything you need to know about this placement and how to master this placement okay when you have north node in the second you also have south node in the eighth all right let's talk about the biggest takeaways and how to master this placement now to begin with so you're here to direct your life path towards making your own money and relying on your own money versus making money that involves other people's resources and relying on other people's resources to get ahead see the second house has to do with so, so okay the north node has to do with your life path your path of highest growth the path that you should take to grow the south node has to do with the path that you should avoid so again so i'm gonna say it again you're here to direct your life path towards making your own money and relying on your own money second house versus making money that involves other people's resources and relying on other people's resources to get ahead the second house has to do with everything that involves making your own money and relying on your own money. The eighth house has to do with money that involves getting involved with other people's resources, like working with banks and financial financial institutions to get ahead. OK, so basically you're here to direct your life path towards making your own money and avoiding money that involves other people's resources and other financial institutions and stuff like that. It's important that you avoid taking on debt as much as you can. The eighth house has to do with debt. And it's it's not when you have this placement, you naturally lean more towards accumulating debt. And the south node tells you things that you want to avoid. You kind of want to get away from these matters. And the eighth house has to do with matters that involve inheritances and debt and other people's resources. So when you have this placement, you want to try to avoid taking on debt as much as you can. OK, because it leans you more away from your path of, of growth. Rely on your own money and the money that you make to move forward and invest. Okay. See, there's two, see the second house and the eighth house has to do with money, but the second house is money that you make on your own. Again, the eighth house has money. The eighth house has to do with money that involves other people and other institutions. So when you have this, you have to direct your life more towards relying on your own money to move forward in life and invest. Because what a lot of people do is they'll do the eighth house thing and they'll take on debt. They'll use other people's resources to be able to invest. But with this placement, you have to rely on your own money and the money that you make to move forward and invest. Basically, all the money that you make and all the income that you make, use that to invest. Don't use other people's money and other people's resources. You naturally lean towards putting too much emphasis on other people's values and their baggage when you need to put your values first and deal with your value system first before anyone else. The second house and the eighth house not only represents money, but it also represents our value system. The second house has to do with your own value system. The eighth house has to do with other people's value system. So when you have this placement, you naturally lean towards you put too much emphasis on other people's values, other people's va baggage. And when you need to be putting your value system first, the things that you value first, because that's what matters when you have this placement. Stop getting so caught up in everything that other people value. What do you value? What is your value system? That's what has to come first in life. You feel like it's easier to leverage debt and use others' resources to become wealthy versus using your own resources to become wealthy. The South Node tells us things that comes easier to us. It feels easier to do it in this manner and get involved in these matters. So you feel like it's easier to leverage debt and use other people's resources to become wealthy. Like, man, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to get debt. I'm going to go leverage these resources to become wealthy. And you feel like using your own resources to become wealthy is a lot more difficult or it takes too long. So you don't like it. You're like, I don't want to use my own resources. I want to go leverage debt and use other people's resources to become wealthy. When you really need to take the path of highest growth, take the path that might not come as easy to you, which has to do with using your own resources to become wealthy. 
In your past life, you were probably very good at leveraging debt to become wealthy. In this life, you're here to use your own wealth to become wealthy because sometimes getting involved with others and their baggage and resources is not worth the headache that can come with it. Okay, so this is very important. In your past life, you were probably very good at leveraging debt to become wealthy. In this life, you're here to learn to use your own wealth to become wealthy because sometimes getting involved with others and their baggage and resources is not worth the headache that can come with it. See, that's the thing. A lot of times, see the problem, the downside to the eighth house is when you get involved with other people's baggage and their crap and their resources, it can come with a headache that's just really not worth it. You don't want to deal with it. You can sometimes take on too much debt and then you end up foreclosing and having all these problems. So in this life, you're here to learn to use your own wealth to become wealthy just to avoid the headache that can come with that. When you have this placement, this is similar to having North Node in Taurus, South Node in Scorpio, because Taurus rules the second house, Scorpio rules the eighth house. So I did a full video breaking down North Node in Taurus, South Node in Scorpio. You want to check that out. The link for that is in the description box. Okay. Now let's talk about the types of astrological services that I provide, because I feel like a lot of my subscribers don't know that I provide astrological services. So I do natal chart readings. I do career readings transit readings, and synastry readings. My contact information, if you'd like to schedule one of those readings, is astrologyztv at gmail.com, or you can contact me at the AZTV on IG. All of this, the link for that will be in the description box as well. And not only that, if you do a natal chart with me and you refer someone else to me because you like the reading, I'll do a free transit reading for you, all right? Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Take care.